continuing from a previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to probably do two examples on solving equation. In the previous video, I showed you how to solve this equation of 5x over 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. I thought I thought of doing a number of equations, but I could do only one. Okay, so let us continue with this equation. Okay, now this equation, uh, here you have to understand the logic. So you've got two brackets, so that is 3a minus 4 in one bracket times a plus 5 equal to 0. Now this, I hope you understand that this and this, when you don't have anything between the brackets, it's time. Suppose in algebra, suppose if you have, suppose a times b, okay, this means a times b like this, okay. Now here, we don't know what a is, but a is a number. So, the left hand side of this equation is this two brackets and the right hand side is zero. Now to solve this equation, this is called a quadratic equation. When you expand this, you'll get a quadratic equation. It's based on a very simple logic that when you multiply two numbers, that is a, if a, b is equal to zero, a times b is zero, this, from this you can say a has to be zero, or b has to be zero, or both of them has to be zero, okay. So this is, that means, what what does this mean? This means, z, if a is zero, you can say zero times b becomes zero, okay. And if, say, b is zero, a is any number, I don't know. So can I say a times zero is also zero? Now if both of them, both of them are zero, zero times zero is zero. So zero I would call is a great equalizer, okay, it's a wicked number, okay, so zero, any number that goes along with zero uh, to get multiplied, that number, the whole thing will become zero, okay, so I would describe a, sorry, zero as a very wicked number or a great equalizer, okay, so based on this simple logic, so let me change color. Can I say this is a number and this is a number? Based on this, can I say 3a minus 4 has to be 0? Okay? And I can also say that a plus 5 has to be 0. You can say and or. Okay? So that's not the focus here. So you've got two answers here. Now again, look, think logically. Now you've got 3 times a minus 4 is 0. So what, make up a question, what minus 4 gives you 0? So I say, well, this has to be 4, because 4 minus 4 only gives me 0. So I can say 3a is nothing but 4. Again, I want to get rid of this 3, because that's what's happening to 3. 3 is multiplied to a. So I have to do the opposite of times, which is divided by. So if you divide this side by 3, you divide this side by 3. So this a, this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled, so a is 4 thirds, or a is 1 and 1 thirds. Okay, so 4 thirds is, I hope you understand, is 1 and 1 third. Now again, here, yeah, a plus 5 is 0, it's very simple. What should be a to get to 0? What plus 5 gives you 0? You say minus 5 plus 5 is 0, so a has to be minus 5, just like that, and that's your answer. Okay, let me do one more question. Okay, now this is 4x to the 4x cube is equal to negative 108. So as I explained in log, in any equation can be treated as a balance. So you've got, this is your left hand side, and this is your right hand side. In a balance, this is your left-hand side, and this is your right-hand side. And this is the equal to sign. So whatever you do on one side, you will have to do on the other side. So first thing that I want to get rid of is this 4. And I'm asking myself, what's happening to 4 and b cubed? So this is, when you have 4b cubed, you should understand this is 4 times b cubed. 
or 4 is multiplied to b cube. So if 4 is multiplied to b cube and I want to eliminate 4, I have to do the opposite of times, which is divided by. So I have to divide this side by 4, I have to divide this side by 4. Okay. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled. I am going very slowly so that you understand. So this is b cube is equal to, let me put the minus there. Okay, so this is 2 times 54 divided by 2 times 2. Okay, so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So now b cube, the minus remains there, minus again 54. So this is now minus 54 over 2. So now minus 54 can be written as minus 2 times 27. Okay, or let me put the minus with, let me put the minus with minus 27. So 2 times minus 27 is also minus 54 divided by 2. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So now b cube is minus 27. I hope you understood the step. I am going very slowly so that you understand. Now, <clears throat> here b cube is minus 27. So, what, can I write this as a cube? Okay. So, you should know 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. But if you do minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3, that is minus 27. Okay. I hope this negative, so to explain this, suppose this is minus 3 times minus 3 is, a negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 and then you go to minus 3, which gives you minus 27. So I know b cube can be written as minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3. Okay, so maths is all about comparing. So this is my b cube is same as minus 3 cube. So can you compare the left hand side and right hand side? So you've got a cube here and you've got a cube here. So you can compare this with b. So the answer is b is equal to minus 3 or negative 3. And you can confirm this on a calculator. If you do minus 3, okay, let me show you that. So this is my calculator. This is only to explain. So minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 is minus 27. Or you can also go minus 3 in the bracket. You have to put this in the bracket, raised to 3 is also minus 27. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. See you in the next video.